हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई शेल शेयर विद यू नाइन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स व्हिच विल एनेबल यू टू सॉल्व ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू क्लॉक्स नाउ देयर आर सम स्पेसिफिक यू नो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स व्हिच यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इन ऑर्डर टू सक्सीड इन कॉम्पिटिशंस एंड क्लॉक प्रॉब्लम्स आर एन अनएवॉर्डेबल पार्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स सो लेट्स सी वॉट पॉइंट्स वी नीड टू कीप इन माइंड Now we all know that there are two hands of the clock based on which questions are basically asked. One is the minute hand and the other is the hour hand. So based on the characteristics of these two hands we have some points to remember. The first important point is that in 60 minutes the minute hand so i'll call the uh, minute hand i'm writing min dot that is minute hand gains 55 minutes on the hour hand the minute hand gains 55 minutes on our hand now what is the meaning of this sentence you see whenever you see one full rotation of the minute hand obviously one full rotation of the minute hand of it means 60 minutes but in those 60 minutes the hour hand will move only 5 minutes that is from 12 to 1 hour hand if it moves from 12 to 1 the minute hand will complete one form, uh, full round during that time so that means the minute hand is gaining 55 minutes on the hour hand very important point the first point now come to the second important point now when do the two hands coincide so in every hour so what happens every hour both the hands coincide once so there is only one particular instance in one hour that both the hands that is the minute hand and hour hand will coincide that that means they will be one above the other like this right so coincide coincidence of these two hour hand minute hands it occurs only once in every hour very important again for uh, mcqs the third one okay the uh, the two hands are in the same straight line two hands are in same straight line now when do we call them in straight line that means either they are opposite it means if this is the minute hand then exactly opposite is the hour hand then this is the straight line opposite or coincide so as i already told you if this is one hand the other hand is just underneath this so two hands are in same straight line when either they are opposite or they coincide that is the third important point you need to remember now the fourth one so now we are talking of the angle between the two hands now suppose the two hands are perpendicular that means they make an angle of 90 degree with each other so what does that mean if the two hands are perpendicular then they are 15 minutes space apart 15 minute space apart so i'll give you an example for this suppose the 
r hand is at 5 okay this is the r hand which is at 5 so 15 minutes apart so this is 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes so this is 5 6 7 8 so if minute hand is here then they will be perpendicular see 15 minutes apart so the two hands are perpendicular when they are 15 minutes space this is a 15 minute space 5 10 15 that much apart now important points and i'm sure these are going to help you a great deal in answering all the questions okay from this we can conclude one more thing what about the angle when it is 20 minutes apart it becomes 120 then this is exactly opposite to each other like this so 5 10 15 20 25 30 they become exactly opposite so that becomes the next point when two hands two hands means the minute hand and the R hand when two hands are in opposite directions opposite directions that means they are 30 minutes apart so 30 minute space apart so that is the fifth point to remember now come to the sixth point okay now oh, this is something very important sixth and seventh point angle traced by our hand in one minute so angle traced by our hand in one minute so what happens to the angle when the time period is just one minute the our hand moves by half degree only half degree now this is something to remember likewise if you consider the minute hand angle traced by minute hand in one minute now you need to talk of the minute hand angle covered in one minute that angle is 6 degree see the difference so this gives you the difference between the angle traced by the hour hand and the minute hand is five and half degree in one minute so there's a gap of five and half degree in the angle traced by hour hand and minute hand obviously minute hand will cover more angle and hour hand will cover less angle so the difference between the two is five and half degree for every minute now come to the penultimate point that is the eighth point now both hands occur at right angle now we are talking of right angle occur at right angle how many times in one hour both hands occur at a right angle now let's talk of one hour 12 hours and 24 hours how many times does it happen so both hands of a clock occur at right angle twice in one hour two times in one hour very important point to remember here two times in one hour then 22 times in 12 hours and see again very important point 44 times in 24 hours see if you know this then you can attempt it directly in the exam otherwise you will be calculating these things and the final point now we, we talked of right angle here so now we will talk of being in straight line so both hands occur in straight line 
again how many times in one hour in 12 hours and in 24 hours so it happens once in one hour we need to remember that once in one hour what about 12 hours it happens 11 times 11 times in 12 hours again something to remember and finally 22 times in 24 hours so friends 9 very very important points to remember and if you can really remember all these things and understand the concept behind the movement of minute hand and hour hand then these 9 points will enable you to solve all problems related to clocks very very important video for all those students who get confused in answering these questions practice questions after learning these 9 points i am sure you are going to get everything right if you like this video do share it and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more such useful videos